So in GLOFAS, we also have uh, initial or antecedent condition layers. In total, there are 10 different layers for five different land surface variables. Soil moisture uh, is shown for initial time, and we also have three-day precipitation and three-day so, 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 sorry, uh, snow melt prior to the forecast. Then uh, daily mean temperature and daily mean snow cover are also provided for the day just before the forecast. These can help the users actually interpret the river discharge forecast and highlight areas where there have been maybe too much precipitation or snow melt, kind of like attributing flood signal and also highlight dry and wet areas. For all these five maps, there is an anomaly, a corresponding anomaly provided, showing deviations from the climate mean. These deviations are expressed as multiples of the standard deviation of the climatology. So they are unitless. And you see, users can see areas basically with unusual or extreme conditions, either positively or negatively anomalous areas highlighting places where maybe the precipitation could be very anomalous in the seasonal context of the climatology contributing to, to development of, of the flood signal in the forecast, like in, in, in this case we show an area where the precipitation was, was very, very, very extreme in South America.